Welcome brothers and sisters, praise God, super excited to be here and just talk a little bit about this topic on how Halloween is just straight up demonic. I get a lot of people asking me like, oh, what if we celebrate Halloween or not even just celebrate, what if we just go trick or treating and what if I just have my kids dress up and, you know, I don't want them to uh, get their childhood ruined. Well, here's the thing, you're, you're pretty much opening up demonic portals as soon as your kids get dressed up, as soon as the kids get dressed up, y'all need to repent. Okay, that's just what it is. You need to repent. I'm not going to be here to sugarcoat anything. I'm not here to preach a candy cane gospel. I'm literally here to tell you 100% the truth or nothing at all. It's either, it's not 99%, it's 100% of the truth or nothing at all. This is how we should be bold when we're sharing, especially the gospel, we know the truth. Because once you know the truth, you cannot turn back and you cannot sugarcoat it. That's all I got to say. Because as teachers, as people that are preaching and sharing and teaching the word, we're held to a higher uh, standard, responsibility, and accountability, as it says in James chapter 3. So let me just open up. I want to open up with a quick uh, verse real quick. It's going to be Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. Colossians chapter 2, verse 10. And it says, and you are complete in him. We're complete in Christ. So and you are complete in him who is the head of all principality and power. See, there might be dark principalities, dark powers, rulers, uh, hosts, and wickedness of this age, but Jesus Christ is the head. He has all authority over all principalities and over all powers. And this is why, as you know, as believers, as followers of Jesus Christ, knowing that, hey, we, we serve the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We serve a God that is almighty, that is more powerful than whatever the devil tries to instill in our mind, all the lies, all the thoughts. And this is what we got to do. Once we know that we're 100% blood washed believers, like we got the blood of Jesus, we have authority to trample on scorpions, serpents. And Jesus pretty much said, hey, you know what? I, I'm giving you all the power. There's going to be somebody that's, that's called the helper, the Holy Spirit, that's going to come out here, that's going to guide us into all truth. So we got a spirit inside of us that he who is within me is greater than he who is within this world. And Satan, the devil, is the God of this world, the father of lies. The devil is the God of this world. And we're not going to fall for the schemes because we know the power that we have through the blood of Jesus. Okay. So yes, it's a very demonic uh, month. That's why like, you know, a lot of the Satanists, they do a lot more sacrifices. They pray against us as believers. So it's time for us to step up. We need to get into more fasting, more prayer. And yes, the, the moment that your kid, you know, and I'm going to show you guys a quick, a quick uh, video, quick clip from an ex-Satanist, John Ramirez, who was literally uh, serving Satan for a long, long time and eventually became a born again, 100% blood washed believer and follower a disciple of Jesus Christ okay so once you know the truth you're not gonna want your kids to celebrate Halloween because it opens up a demonic portal it opens up uh, and allowing the the devil to have dominion and identity to pretty much allow them to become uh, it's like it's like the devil having legal right over them over over your body over your mind over your soul and the do devil wants to rule your soul and God and the devil you know they're fighting they're fighting for our soul there's a battle between good and evil happening every day and this is where we got to fight back we got to know the schemes the plots of the devil we got to unveil right reveal the, the the plots and schemes of the devil and this is where we got to fight back especially during this month I highly recommend it if you're hundred percent for God and I know I've seen a lot of people like hey I I want them to not, I don't want, I don't want my kids to not experience the things pretty much are just saying, I don't want my kids to experience the things that are, that are of, of this world or miss out on Halloween because I was able to, able to do it. Well, shame on your parents. If they're 100%, you know, if they were Christian, I wasn't born and, and raised in a Christian household. So, you know, understanding now the plots and schemes of the enemy, like I'll never wear a mask. I'll never let the devil have legal rights or dominion over my physical body, over my mind. And this is what you're doing. And yeah, you're like, well, it's just this one time, one time. Well, just like John Ramirez says in this clip, and I'm going to do a quick one minute clip. He says, even Adam and Eve, it, it just took them one time one time for the devil to just come right in one it, it said that that sin entered uh entered entered the world through one man right through man so this is what i wanted to share i wanted to be bold about it there's a lot of studies about it you guys can go look up john ramirez he has a lot of different teachings on halloween and just how demonic it is it's a month of witchcraft where a lot of the satanists are doing sacrificial things praying against us so yeah if you might feel heavy uh throughout this whole month this is like a like i said a time to pray and fast and knowing that we have power 
over everything. Like Jesus Christ, I just read you Colossians 2.10. There's a lot of verses, but Jesus Christ has power over all principalities and powers, no matter what. He is the head of it. So when you know your power, when you know the authority that Jesus Christ has given you, the kingdom keys, the battle's already been won, but we got to use the keys. We got to be able to fight just because, you know, Jesus gave you the key doesn't mean that you're actually going to use it to open up the right doors. Now we got to get into prayer, into fasting. We got to actually take action with what we know. It's not just about what you know, it's how we respond to, to, to not just what we know, but how we respond to how the devil tries to attack us. There's so much power in this, and we as believers need to know the truth because it does set us free. It allows us to know like, hey, you know what? I might be going through some battles. I might feel some heaviness. I might feel like some demonic uh, things are happening to me, but I have authority to take to take my thought processes into captivity, to bind up the strong man, to be able to uproot things that are from the devil, to be able to sever, to cut some things, and to literally cast out demons in Jesus' name. I tell a lot of, you know, and I like to say this to our ministry a lot. I say, hey, any witches, any warlocks, any any Satanists trying to come into this house, y'all came to the wrong house because you're either going to run to the altar or you're going to run out of here because the blood of Jesus, the power of the spirit of the living God that lives inside each and every single one of us is greater than the demonic principles and powers and hosts of wickedness that tries to come against the kingdom of God. We're anointed. We're chosen. We got so much power as blood washed believers, and that's what you want to know. So I'm going to play this quick clip, and I'm let you guys check it out right here. October's witchcraft month, by the way. October's witchcraft month. And Chris, shame on you if you ever celebrated Halloween. You need to come and repent. Shame on you. I don't care if you dress yourself up like the little mermaid. It's still a marine spirit. Okay? I don't care if you dress yourself like Casper the Friendly Ghost. It's still a devil. Because you see, what the devil does to you, when you put on that costume, he has changed your identity. And once he changed your identity, he owns legal rights over your life. That means, that he, I don't understand how Christians be celebrating this trash. When they celebrate this trash, they turn around, and then 10 years later, 10 years later, 15 years, why my son is on drugs? Well, you opened the door when he was five. Oh, it was, a, it was only one opportunity, one time. Well, talk to him, Adam and Eve. It only cost him one time to lose the condo. Powerful. Yeah, I know. It, it was such a powerful thing. I, I actually recommend you guys. Maybe I can link it below. But just look at a lot of John Ramirez stuff. I watched that whole sermon. It was about an hour. Powerful stuff. We actually sell a lot of his uh, or a couple of his books here. I think he has uh, the arms. Is it arms and dragons? And then um, the unmasking the devil book at our shop out here in Las Vegas. So, go ahead, guys. I, I I'd really advise you to go do your research. You know, don't don't just take it for what I'm saying. Don't even. I mean, this guy's an ex Satanist, so he he was in the trenches. Like you hear a lot more of his story. It's so interesting because he knows the schemes and the plots, so he can use what he's learning in the Bible now to be able to fight back against the wiles of the devil. So hey, God bless you guys. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Like this video. Comment on this video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll be uh, pumping out a lot more content. Be blessed, and have a great one. Take care.